Hello guys, welcome back to another amazing video. Today in this video, we'll explore US Binance, its features, and an overall in-depth tutorial for beginners of Binance. So make sure to stay tuned until the end, and also like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. The reward link will be in the description, so make sure to keep an eye on it. That said, let's get started. To address the increased demand for crypto technology and new industries like DeFi and NFTs, a slew of exchanges has sprung up to suit the demand. Crypto exchanges are online marketplaces where users may buy, sell, and trade various cryptocurrencies. Binance, which was created in 2017, is by far the largest cryptocurrency exchange in the world right now. Before we get into things that this exchange has to offer, let's go through how to use Binance, how to withdraw cryptocurrency, how to trade cryptocurrency, and all the other little details for beginners. What exactly is Binance? Binance is the world's largest cryptocurrency exchange by volume, with over 180 nations represented among its users. It includes various features that are ideal for novices and is quite simple to operate. You may also improve your crypto expertise by using its outstanding Binance Academy learning area. Binance has a wide range of services for everyone, from complete crypto beginners to DeFi degens. Binance has enhanced its regulatory compliance in response to rising regulatory pressure in some countries by creating a trustworthy user verification system and deleting or restricting certain problematic services such as security tokens and higher leverage trading. Binance Application for Mobile and Desktop Binance's services are available on a variety of platforms, including iOS and Android, browser-based websites, and a Mac and Windows desktop program. If you're a more skilled user who needs quick updates with minimal latency, you should utilize the exchange's mobile app or desktop version as the browser-based experience can cause lag when the exchange has a lot of transactions. How to use Binance in the United States Due to tight financial rules, using Binance in the United States will include different procedures. First and foremost, Binance US is a separate corporate organization based in the United States. Furthermore, except for New York, Texas, Vermont, Hawaii, Idaho, Connecticut, and Louisiana, Binance US is available in 43 states. To get started, download the Binance app or go to their website on a computer and establish an account with your phone number and email address. Then before you can deposit cash or cryptocurrency into your Binance wallet, you must validate your account. How to verify your Binance account Identity verification is crucial because Binance is a centralized exchange. It must comply with anti-money laundering or AML as well as counter-terrorist financing or CFT requirements on a national and international level. It must also comply with the extensive Know Your Customer or KYC regulations. The good news is that you can improve your Binance fiat deposit and withdraw limits after completing the first ID verification process. The verification procedure is a quick and simple process. Binance has a huge customer service team in case problems arise. To accomplish this verification, simply log into your account, select Become Verified, and go through the basic, intermediate, and expert verification levels, each with its own fiat limit. You'll also need to enter your nationality, first and last names, birth date, street address, postal code, and city. You must take and upload photos of your government-issued ID to upgrade to the intermediate level for a higher limit. Depending on the country, you can use an ID, a passport, or a driver's license. Following that, you'll be asked to take a selfie or upload a photo to complete the face verification process. Advanced verification will ask you to submit proof of address, such as a recent utility bill or a bank statement. How to deposit money on Binance? Fiat deposits in up to 50 different currencies are accepted by Binance. Fiat can be deposited using a bank transfer or a credit or debit card. After making a deposit, you should be eligible to purchase Bitcoin and begin trading on Binance within 24 hours. The majority of deposit choices are free, simple, and convenient. How to deposit crypto on Binance 
If you're new to Binance, depositing crypto can be more difficult than depositing cash, but the procedures below will make it simple. You can transfer cryptocurrency from another cryptocurrency wallet to your Binance wallet. If you want to transfer BTC from Coinbase to Binance, for example, you must follow these steps. Copy your Binance wallet address and paste it into the platform you're withdrawing from, in this case Coinbase, to transfer it into Binance. Choose the coin you want to deposit, in this case let's say BTC. Choose the protocol on the platform where you're withdrawing your crypto. For your Binance wallet address, the protocol must be valid. Start the withdrawal verification process by pressing the withdrawal button. Selecting the incorrect protocol could result in a loss of your cryptocurrency. Due to blockchain traffic, it may take a while for your request to be confirmed. You can track your deposits by looking at your transaction history. How to trade on Binance for beginners The ease and quickness with which you may trade cryptocurrencies in real time is a big lure for Binance customers. Depending on your skill of level, the exchange offers numerous types of trading interfaces. For newcomers, Binance recommends using the Convert option, which breaks things down with just a simple UI. You must first enter the cryptocurrency you are exchanging and then the amount you wish to swap in the top area. The selected coin or fiat currency is entered in the bottom field. The trading fees will be taken after the trade is completed. Executing spot deals at real-time prices is the simplest way to trade. Market, limit, stop limit, and OCO are some spot trading options available on Binance. In a nutshell, a market order allows you to purchase or sell something at the current price. Notice that you'll either buy or sell at a slightly higher or lower price. Because there is a price difference between the selling and purchasing orders, you are effectively bypassing the queue and trading at the best instant offer. A limit order allows you to place a trade at a specific price, higher than the present price for selling and lower for buying. For example, if the price of Bitcoin decreases to $35,535, you can place a purchase order for $40,000 worth of Bitcoin. A stop limit order is a combination of a stop loss and a limit order that protects you against large market changes by allowing you to place buy or sell orders above or below the current market price. Example, if Bitcoin is trading at $50,000 and you're bullish, you can place a $55,000 stop limit sell order. Do you believe Bitcoin will fall in value? Then you will have the option of placing a $46,000 stop loss order. Your orders will execute automatically if the price reaches certain thresholds, allowing you to maximize your earnings or minimize your losses. Stop limit commands have one drawback. They compel you to choose a route. You could go into problems if you are incorrect. That's why in 2019, Binance went a step further by offering OCO orders. An OCO order blends the best of both worlds, enabling you to sell or purchase a crypto asset at a price that is both higher and cheaper than the current price. If the price of Bitcoin is $40,000 and you need to sleep but want to trade on autopilot, then you can put a sell order at either $38,000 for a 5% loss or $44,000 for a 10% profit relying on your trading preference. Also, keep in mind that whales can manipulate crypto prices, especially in a market with limited liquidity, by placing massive buy and sell orders with the intent of either crashing or spiking the price, triggering stop losses or liquidation margin orders, and then recovering or dropping straight back. A bull trap or a bear trap is commonly used in these scenarios. As a result, do your thorough research before taking on these many orders, and don't place all your eggs inside one basket. How to buy crypto on Binance By attaching your bank card to your wallet or completing a direct bank transfer, you can purchase crypto on Binance with fiat currency. If you're feeling social, use Binance P2P to buy cryptocurrency directly from other users. This technique allows you to search among Binance's hundreds of merchants and choose your favorite seller with the best payment option. The Binance P2P or peer-to-peer -peer system will automatically display the best sellers based on the amount of cryptocurrency you wish to buy and the payment method you want. Your cryptocurrency will be sent to your account once the buyer verifies your payment. More information on Binance P2P trading may be found in our guide. 
please be aware that in some regions, purchasing cryptocurrency on Binance with fiat currency is not allowed or permitted. When working with Binance, please be careful to observe your country's laws. How to Sell Crypto on Binance Have you purchased the dip and made a profit? It's simple to sell your cryptocurrency on Binance. Simply deposit your profit into your account or convert it to fiat currency and keep it in your Binance wallet. To sell your crypto, go to Binance's cash balance area, select Sell Crypto, choose the cryptocurrency you want to sell, input the amount, choose the fiat currency you want to sell, and push the sell button. In the top left corner, you'll see the total amount you'll receive, the transaction will be executed, and your money will be transferred and delivered to your fiat wallet after you confirm your request with a confirmation message. P2P trading is another option for selling your cryptocurrency. Before you can start P2P trading, you must first transfer the cryptocurrency you want to sell to your P2P wallet. On the top menu, select Sell and enter the number of coins or tokens you want to sell. Choose a payment option and proceed. The transaction will be marked as a waiting payment until the buyer pays and the receipt is confirmed. After you've received the funds, tap Confirm to give the buyer the cryptocurrency. Binance Fees Explained Binance charges withdrawal fees but not deposits. Fees for certain transactions, such as cryptocurrency withdrawals, will vary depending on network congestion. Binance charges a 0.5% fee if you buy Bitcoin outright in USD. If you wish to acquire Bitcoin for $100 using this method, you'll end up trading for $99.50 after costs. The fees are lowered by 25% if you trade and pay in Binance Coin or BNB, the native coin. When it comes to withdrawals, each currency has its own set of fees. Binance's appeal stems from its low rates and fees, as well as discounted trading using BNB. What is Binance Coin and how to buy it? The Binance ecosystem is powered by the cryptocurrency Binance Coin or BNB. Coin market cap now ranks number five with a market capitalization at 48,944,537,284 US dollars. There are 163,276,975 BNB coins in circulation with a maximum supply of 165,116,760 BNB coins. Binance Coin or BNB was developed in 2017 as a utility token to provide savings on the exchange's trading expenses. Its applications have grown in a short period of time. The coin can now be used to get free tokens from new projects on Binance Launchpad. Travel bookings, leisure services, and banking services can all be paid for with it. It's also used to pay Binance Smart Chain transaction fees. BNB can be purchased on a variety of exchanges, including Binance, KuCoin, FTX, Gate.io, BitThumb, and Polynix, just like any other cryptocurrency. How safe is Binance? Binance is a typically secure exchange, yet it was the victim of a significant attack in 2019 that resulted in the theft of 7,000 Bitcoins worth $40 million. Binance has already beefed up its security and vowed to reimburse all damages through its insurance fund. To better safeguard user accounts, Binance employs two-factor authentication, or 2FA. Binance CEO Chang Peng Zhao is noted for saying SAFU to reassure users, meaning that Binance's money is secure. While it's used to just imply safe funds, here's how. It stands for Secure Asset Fund for Users a rainy day emergency insurance fund. Although Binance does not roll back hacks on its own blockchain, Binance Smart Chain, it has previously worked with authorities to seize hacked assets or criminals' accounts. How to withdraw crypto from Binance Withdrawing Bitcoin from Binance to another wallet is simple. Although it may take a while, owing to network congestion and receiving blockchain verification. Log into Binance and select Wallet, then withdraw to withdraw any cryptocurrency or fiat currency. Select the cryptocurrency you want to withdraw next. Because certain crypto can be issued on different networks, you must choose the correct one. Following that, you must copy the specific wallet address and click Submit. Click Receive after tapping the currency in the receiving wallet. How to withdraw fiat from Binance Binance accepts a variety of fiat currencies. 
Log into your account, then select Wallet and Fiat and Spot from the drop-down menu. Select Fiat after clicking Withdraw. Choose which currency you want to withdraw, then choose your payment method. This method is different in different countries and locations. Enter and confirm the withdrawal amount. Funds should arrive within 30 minutes in most cases. Withdrawal costs will be applied. You must fulfill the two-step authentication process before making any withdrawals. Additionally, according to Fortune, the world's largest cryptocurrency exchange, Binance, had the capacity to profit handsomely from Terra's UST stablecoin before it fell last week, along with its sibling cryptocurrency, Luna. Binance invested $3 million in Luna in 2018 and earned 15 million tokens in exchange. Those tokens were valued at $1.6 billion at the height of Luna's valuation in April of 2022. The tokens are now worth around $2,391 at Luna's pricing, according to Binance CEO Cheng Peng Zhao. Despite Binance's massive losses, Zhao stated that retail traders who suffered losses during Luna's crash last week should be compensated before Binance. On May 16th, Zhao tweeted, To set an example on protecting users, Binance will let this go and urge the Terra project team to reimburse the retail users first Binance last, if ever. Binance has long been a backer of Terraform Labs, the firm that built Luna. According to VentureBeat, Binance's investment arm was a primary investor in a $32 million funding round in 2018 that Terraform Labs said was meant to develop a new financial system on the blockchain. Last Monday, Binance CEO Cheng Peng Zhao expressed his disappointment with the way Luna and UST teams handled the crash. Zhao claimed it wouldn't work if Terraform Labs CEO Do Quan tried to fork Terra or build a new blockchain and distribute millions of tokens in a new currency to supporters. On May 13th, the sibling token of stablecoin Terra USD Luna plummeted to $0, a 100% loss in value. On April 5th, it reached an all-time high of $116. According to CoinMarketCap, the token's market capitalization has dropped from around $40 billion to around $6 million in the last seven days. Luna's demise began when its sibling token, UST, was de-pegged from its $1 value, causing large investors to sell it. And that's all for today. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe, comment, share, and watch all our other videos for more such amazing crypto content. See you in the next video.